Every country in the world has their own film industry that supports local interests, culture, politics, and language. The first big boom in the film industry occurs in the 1930s. Hitler felt that in order to create a 100-year Reich Germany, he would need to dwarf France and culture. To do so, he heavily invested in the German cinema, making Germany the largest film producer in the world. In response, Britain created film industries across all of its former colonies, including India, Australia, and Canada. Japan, China, America, France, Sweden, and the Netherlands also heavily invested public dollars into the film industry. Today we bask in the results as over 10,000 films are produced a year. Of these, however, only 1,000 are coming out of the United States. Yet we rarely hear of foreign films. The reason why we hear about them is because an existing demand in our culture for a certain type of movie exists. Bollywood happens to be almost entirely about musicals. In fact, Bollywood is not only the largest musical producer in the world, but also the largest producer in the world with over 1,300 movies a year. Bollywood surged in America culture in the early 2000s because of the mass immigration of Southeast Asians, but also because America just didn't make that many musicals. In 2012, for example, there were only two movie musicals other than Disney, of course, Rock of the Ages, which grossed $90 million, and Not to be Outdone Les Miserables, which grossed $442 million. The demand is clearly there for musicals, and Bollywood fulfilled that demand. Regardless, some of these Bollywood films are pretty odd. Oh. But then again, so are most of ours. From Vince Offer, the guy that brought you the slap chop. First, set the game to Pangea, Duel, and Settler Difficulty. Go into the advanced settings and turn off barbarians. Trust me, it makes this achievement that much easier. Also, if it's not obvious, pick Gandhi. So as an opening move, go for two quick expansions. The early production and goal advantage will put you far ahead of the computer late in the game. Brave New World certainly changes the cultural victory. It made it far easier to obtain. To start when choosing a religion, make sure to build culture building tenants. You will want to spread your religion to your opponent as frequently and as often as possible. Some clear ideological choices for this achievement are aesthetics and exploration. Aesthetics will boost your culture and artist generation. Very simple. It will also allow you to purchase artists with a religion. The full tree of exploration will allow you to see hidden dig sites. This will come in handy later when you are trying to gain extra tourism value via archaeology. You should rush to archaeology so to grab all the dig sites as fast as possible. After this rush, try to get broadcast hours. You should stockpile your great musicians and have just enough archaeologists to go into his or her base to take the dig sites in there. When you have about 500 to 600 tours in value, you can abuse an open border treaty and have your musicians massively increase your influence with him or her. If worse comes to worse, you can't get an open border treaty, simply declare war on him and protect your musicians with troops. With this influence bomb, a three-city cultural victory will come very soon.